Hi all, this is Anasati Narayana. Now I am going to give a presentation on mode 1 and mode 2 interlaminar fracture in laminated composites. Size this work was done by Servietto et al. in 2019. They conducted tests on DCP and ENF response. This is the introduction. A composite material is a material made from two or more constituent materials with significantly different physical or chemical properties that when combined produce a material with the characteristics different from them. This figure shows count. the schematic representation of composites. Here one layer is reinforcement fiber and one layer is matrix. This is Boeing 787 Dreamliner will be the first commercial aircraft in which major structural elements are made of composite materials rather than aluminum alloy. These are the advantages of composites. This is the object of the present materials and methods. They prepared samples by using compression molding, a DGEBA based epoxy resin used as a polymer matrix and carbon fiber used as a reinforcing material. The mechanical properties are obtained by testing 0 degree and 45 degree lay 8 layered properties of carbon epoxy. These are the specimens used for testings. Mode 1 fracture test conducts on DCB specimens and mode 2 fracture tests conduct on ENF specimens. Tested geometrically scaled specimens of three different sizes and pre crackage introduced by inserting 10 micrometer Teflon film during lamination. This slide shows some dimensions of three different size DCB specimens which are scaled in 1 is to 3 is to 5 ratio in all dimensions except width. Here width is constant for all the specimens. First one is small specimen second one is medium and third one is large specimen. This slide shows the testing arrangement of DCB specimen. This slide shows the dimensions of three different size ENF specimens which are scaled in 2 is to 3, 3 is to 5 ratio in all dimensions except width. Here width is constant for all the specimens. First one is small, second one is medium and third one is large. This is the testing arrangement of ENF specimens. Pre-crack is introduced by inserting 10 micrometer Teflon film during lamination. This is the testing process. All the tests are conducted at a cross rate of 0 0.0 mm per minute for a small specimen. This, this, this gives the a load deflection curves for DCB and ENF specimens. This is the formulation for calculating fracture energy and the effective fracture process zone led by considering LEFM approach. Here I refer to the 1 and 2. Equation 1 gives the relationship between nominal strength and characteristic size. Fitting of experimental data by size effect law. Here GF and CF values are calculated by using linear regression analysis. First we take thickness on x-axis and strength on y-axis. Then we got a trend line of the, the trend line of the curve is of the form A1x plus C1. From this A and C A values we can calculate sigma naught i and h naught i in equa in this equation g of alpha and g prime of alpha are obtained from the finite element analysis these are the uh, g of alpha value and g naught uh, g prime of alpha value for two different modes this curve shows the analysis of mode 1 interlaminar fracture test by size effect law this shows the analysis of mode 2 interlaminar fracture test by the size effect law. These are the conclusion. Tests on geometrically scaled DCB and ENF specimens shows remarkable size effect for both mode 1 and mode 2 interlaminar fracturing. Mode 1 and mode 2 fracture energies are found to be 0 0.56 and 2.25 Newton per mm and CF and CF1 and CF2 values are calculated for mode 1. From LEFM, the GF values are calculated for smaller and medium, uh, smaller, medium and large specimens. For, from LEFM, we calculated mode to fracture energy. These are the references. Thank you.